Drummers Against Imply, Timekeeping, I'm calling this video The Missing Note, or Missing Notes. And I'm referring to um, uh, single pedal players, uh, when utilizing certain phrases, um, are going to, just by virtue of the single pedal, miss a note or two. Now, single pedal, you either do one hit, or two hits in succession. It's very rare to see three hits in successive order on a single pedal player. Now, that becomes an issue uh, when you're playing certain figures. Now, I'm going to use uh, 16th notes as an example. When we play 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Now, a single pedal player has um, a choice to make. He can either play uh, one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one is one way of doing it, two hits in succession. Or he can do the two hits in succession in particular places within the uh, four sixteenth notes. He can do it one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Two sixteenth notes right there. That means two sixteenth notes were missing when he did that phrase. Or when he went on four and one, he missed two sixteenth notes in that part. Now, the same holds true with a triplet. You would do one E and two E and three E and four E and one. On a single pedal player, he's probably going to do it with two hits in succession. One E and two E and three E and four E and one. He'd probably do that. Or he would do a one E. He won't play all three. And this is an issue why I am stressing a double pedal. The double pedal is not an accessory to playing anymore. It is an essential. The technology is there, double pedal, we can play the note, all the notes, and finish phrases. And uh, if for any of you who have seen my videos, I'm always stressing to finish up the, the phrase with right, left, right. So on a 16th note phrase, you would do one E and a two E and a three E and a Right, left, right. It's not implied. On a single pedal player, he's going to have to do something, augment something, play a ghost note or a rough uh, to add uh, to finish out the phrase. So uh, this is why I'm stressing uh, on a triplet, for example, one E and two E and three E and four E and one. With double pedal, one E and two E finish it out. power and the expression and the ability to utilize the double pedal is there and it has to be used now. Now for those of you who are single pedal players who think that double pedal is some sort of uh, accessory that's not really used, um, that could not be further from the truth. It is now absolutely important to stress to get the double pedal. I don't care what style of music it is. It isn't as if by getting the double pedal you're joining a speed metal band to play 250 beats per minute. The issue is utilization of the double pedal and, and capturing notes that were lost that had to be implied all the time and uh, uh, supplemented in, by playing roughs and various other things. But you don't have to do that all the time now. I'm just saying get the double pedal so you can play it in certain places. You can play it by could hit all the notes now, where you wouldn't do that with single pedal. And this is the important thing I want to stress. Now, I don't want you to shoot me here. Um, I'm trying to express my opinion, but I want to base it on, on reason, not, not just how I feel about it. I just think that the drum set always is an evolutionary thing. And as the double pedal came into play in the late 70s, um, by now we're looking at 35 years later, it is now important to utilize it, even if you're a bop player. Um, uh, it's fantastic to have. It's a great tool. It works off so many other things you wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been able to attempt playing single pedal. When you play single pedal, you're doing one or two hits in succession. You're never doing three. It's extremely rare. By doing that, there are all kinds of other things unexpected that came about. There's missing notes. There's problems. You have to play ghost notes or augment and change things. But we don't have to all the time uh, be doing that. Play them out. You know? 
right, or sixteenth notes. Right, left, right. Get those in there. Now eighth notes, obviously, you wouldn't do one and two and boom, 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 boom. The, the, it's not applicable. Uh, but on uh, uh, triplets and sixteenth notes and figures like that, where you're going around the drum set and you're playing some great things, you know. Get used to playing right, left, right once in a while. And if you're playing jazz, my God, you could do so many triplets in jazz while the time is going uh, that you would have never even thought of uh, with single pedal. You know, so think about this, uh, what I'm telling you, um, to, that now a double pedal is not some uh, exotic thing. It is as essential as the hi-hat. Get the double pedal, all right? and experiment with it. If you haven't before, I think there's a big wall between speed metal players and maybe jazz players or pop players who think, oh, double pedal, it's not for me, it's only for those guys. No, nope, double pedal is for everybody. It's just its application and how it's used. Obviously, death metal, speed metal guys utilize the double pedal to play long phrases uh, of 16th and 32nd notes. But for jazz and pop, it has other great applications. And I want to stress it, all right? If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Don't shoot me again, just ask me. Uh, I'm on twitter.com slash drummers against. I'm on Facebook as well, drummers against implied timekeeping. And for those of you coming in for the first time, I invite you to just go through my videos and um, take a look at my explain and my introduction as well. Uh, most of my videos, if you'll see them, open hand position, and I stress right, left, right at the end of certain phrases to finish them out because double pedal is essential. So um, if you like what you're seeing, I want you to subscribe to my channel. Your subscription is your way of supporting what I'm doing and what I'll continue to do in the future, especially on technical videos. All right. Uh, for those of you who have subscribed and stayed with me, thanks so much. I appreciate the uh, support. And of course, sometimes I get the idea to express my view uh, uh, and opinions, and they are only my opinions, so always I want to disclaim that. Um, but I think it's important enough for you to know uh, why uh, we do it, all right? You deserve to at least know why. So hopefully this will help you. If you have any uh, uh, questions to kind of uh, ask me regarding this in particular to what you're doing, feel free to ask me. I think you deserve to know, all right? My best to each and every one of you, and thanks for looking in and hearing me out. Take care.